Hi, I'm Lou, another episode of My Car Story. We're in Lake Zurich, and we're at the Midwest Muscle Cars, and I'm here with Erica. Erica Perry, nice to see you. You too, Lou. And she's got a great car here today. What did you bring today? My Chevelle Super Sport. What size engine does it have? It's got a 454 in it. Why not a 454? It is the LS5. We've got 360 horse, but I think it'll do. You'll see what I mean. Let me grab the cameras I usually do. So Erica, how long have you had this one? Uh, only a couple of months now. Picked it up in Indy. Why this car out of all the cars in the world? What made you say, you know what, I think we need a Chevelle 454. Look at it. It's beautiful. Let's and do just that. Oh, go ahead. No, and. and it was as close to the LS6 as I could get without spending a quarter of a million dollars. <laughs> Actually, about 200. So. Yeah, so, so it's a bargain. Right. It's a bargain right. car. Come on over. So let's take a look at it from right next to me. And this car looks absolutely jaw-droppingly spectacular. Look at the black color and the white stripes. As you can see, I'm gonna feature all the details. It's just wonderful. And I'm gonna take a side view of it. Come on with me, Erica. When you look at the side of this car, and I'm gonna stand far enough back where everybody could take it in. What's the, have you had this car out much yet? I've taken it out twice since uh, we brought it home and it runs beautifully. And when you had it out, was it just you, you and Bob? It was actually me and another friend and then Bob also had it out with a friend. And what was the reaction when you're taking this out? Heads turn faster than I think the Poltergeist movie it was. <laughs> it's absolutely just a clean, crisp car that runs stellar. There isn't one thing mechanically wrong that wasn't taken care of on this vehicle. It was a full rotisserie restoration from start to finish. Uh, there was no expense that was stored when this car was redone. I love the, uh, the insets, which are flawless on this car as you can see in the bumper and certain cars as the my car story clan knows draw me in this is one we're going to take a look at the interior oh Lou, welcome ginger hey ginger she is our mascot <laughs> ginger knows a good ride too and the ss badge there and let's just take a look at the gauges. Ginger's guard dogging the car. Like so. These gauges look brand spanking new. And the entire instrument cluster obviously was removed and it took approximately two months to hand restore every single one of those dash instruments. Two months. I wanna show one other thing while I'm here because we have it. And that's a copy of the original bill of sale of this car. So people can stop where they'd like. And it's really, you know, Erica, it's a history lesson that uh, the legacy of these cars, and here's an original brochure of the car. Look at that. So people can kind of pause on that. That, that you get the chance to leave. I'll let you take your time there some of the options. The Malibu, etc. I may have missed a page in there. There. Let me keep Details. There. Nice. That's what we're talking about right there. The biggest engine on one of the greatest cars. Erica, let's open up the hood. Love the cowl induction. And this open. 
And we're hitting the uh, foot pins here. Let me walk right past you. We got the sun out here. Nothing like looking at an engine. That looks like it came right from the factory. We've also got on the chrome valve cover the markings and for a convertible air conditioning. So let's start her up. Cowl induction hood. We've warmed her up already, so she sounds smooth. Let me get a little exhaust note. Erica, give her a little gas. <laughs> Step on out. It's hard not to, let's shut her down. Hard not to smile when you hear that, right? It's hard not to smile when you're in any one of these cars. <laughs> Come on out. All right. Erica, thanks so much for sharing your car with us. It's been a real treat. My pleasure. Thanks for being on My Car Story. Lou, I appreciate you having us, me and the girl. Have a great Hi, I'm Lou, another episode of My Car Story. We're here at the greatest muscle car show on the planet, Rosemont, Illinois, and it's the uh, Muscle Car and Corvette National. And we've got some great cars here today. And I've got another car of Dave's. We did Dave's car last year. What did we do last year, Dave? 70 Hemi Survivor car. Not too bad. So today we've got another bad boy car. If you like bad boy cars, this is what we have. What's, what are we showing today? Today's a 1970 LS6 Chevelle. It's considered the fastest muscle car ever produced. 450 horsepower, poly carburetor. This happens to be the original salesman that ordered the car when it was brand new. Brand spanking new Corey. Yes, sir. What's uh, your last name? Peterson. Corey, Corey Peterson. Peterson. Good to see you, Dave thank Beam. You. Good to see you good again. See you. I'll grab the camera, Mike. Correct? Yes. Mike, thank you so much. I'll grab the cameras. I usually do. Dave, jump next to me. All right. And and Corey, you can stand next to me too. When you were selling this car. What did you like about it except, well, everything? <laughs> it was a very good friend of mine that was looking to get it. a performance car. Yeah. Uh, Doug Bolton out of Bountiful, Utah. He was looking for a new 454 engine for a gasser car that he wanted to build. And it ended up he couldn't get the engine over the counter, so he says, let's order in a new LS6 powered Chevelle. So now, what boxes do you have to check to get the LS6? I mean, you're First inside of all, the dealership. You have to get the basic Chevelle order with the Super Sport package. Okay. And then the Super Sport package, you have to do that what engine you want. There's a variety of engines that are available. There was a low horsepower 396, uh, a high horsepower 396, as well as the low horsepower 454, and then this bad, bad 450 horsepower 454. So Ultimate. how many bad bad 450 horsepower did you did you order that year you think? Oh through our dealership this was the only LS6 car that was ordered in through the little uh, uh, Roy Price Chevrolet company in Bountiful Utah. So Dave you know you've got a little problem here with these cars you get these original crazy cars with this nutty horsepower I absolutely love you what's your problem? <laughs> I just love unrestored cars. So, so how did you find this one? I would heard rumors about the car out in Utah when I was going to car shows and I eventually was introduced to Corey here that ordered the car new and uh, Corey took me over there and let me see the car and we worked something out. Now tell me about your business though. Uh, I own a body shop in Colorado Springs. So you own a body shop, you restore cars, but you love unrestored well, cars. Well, I don't restore cars anymore, <laughs> we just uh, fix brand new wrecked cars. Got it. Alright, come on, let's take a look at it. Let's, uh, let's take a look at the rear end. Okay. Pop the trunk for you. No, 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 don't pop the trunk. I don't want to see the trunk. I want to look at the back, but I don't want to see the trunk. Okay. Those are the plates from 1973, the last time the car had been on the road. The last time the car had been on the this road? It hadn't been driven since 1973 when we purchased it. 
And when did you purchase this car? It was December of last year. How many miles are on this? 4,300 original miles. Let's take a look at that. That's unbelievable. Yes, I was shocked when I seen it. Let's uh, undo the, uh, the key for just a second. Look at that, there's a zero where that dash is. So you heard this car rumored. Yeah, it was kind of like an urban legend of Utah. Some people had talked about it, never seen it, heard about it. So where was where was this kept? If you don't, is, is this a, a secret nice or? Garage on jack stands with two car covers. I haven't even washed the car yet. It's, it hasn't been washed in, since the 70s. All the metal underneath the car is still not had any rust on Let, it. Let's uh, open the hood. Doug Bolton came from the most meticulous family on how they kept everything that they owned, and this is a testament as to how the Bolton family handled that. Unbelievable. So this is truly a history lesson on this car. Yes. I mean, anybody who's getting the chance to see this, who wants to restore a car, here's your answer. Original spark plug wires, spark plugs, air cleaner element. It had the original oil in it when we got it. The original oil in it. The baddest of the bad kept in a safe for all intensive purposes. Yes. Wow. Where's the build tag? You know, those little sheets or the little metal tag that shows. Oh, that's over here. On all the right, let's take a look wall. at that. It's very nice that it's black. Of course, right? Yeah. It's black on black. I see it. Okay. And well, we've got light on that. Actually, believe it or not, you might see it for the very first time. It's the high def camera. I need to get it just right. I should be able to pull that information out. Some of the really shocking things are like the yeah, color that's still on these lines here. People duplicate this nowadays. The car still has all the paper tags on the front springs, the backing plates, the shocks, the part number still on the rear frame on the let's for start, the part let's number. Start it. Let's okay, start it up. Start it up. Let's hear it. The baddest of the bad should go. Pretty smooth. Pretty smooth. I was kind of expecting a little cam lobe oh, or rough. something like that. Pretty, pretty smooth. Let me. Beautiful, Dave. Come on out. You know the routine. Hop out with me. Take that key out. Thanks. Let's pop the trunk. The trunk's uh, worthy of a yeah, trunk oh, pop? Go, go ahead, pop the trunk then. The original tires. Yeah. The original tires. Wow. Yeah, the original owner Doug just kept it in great shape and kept it covered under two covers. We actually haven't even washed it. We just kind of wiped the little dust off and brought it, hand glazed it. Wow. Yeah. All right, let's shut the trunk. Okay. We hand glazed it. Pieces. Let's shut the, the hood and let's see okay. if we stand next to it. Dave, stand next to an amazing Come unrestored on, car. Come on, Corey, get in there. Yeah, you the original the salesman, you? <laughs> the original salesman's here. Yeah, Doug Bolton, the original owner, couldn't make it out. Uh, well, guys, thanks so much for, again, dazzling us with another unrestored, amazing, bad of the bad car. Thanks for being on my car store. Thanks for choosing our car. Thank you, Luke. I mean